Let's compare and contrast two Spanish verbs, saber and conocer. Now at first blush they both mean to know, but they mean to know slightly different things, and hopefully after these four sentences you'll understand that. Number one, we know that red is the best color. Nosotros sabemos que rojo es el mejor color. Nosotros sabemos que rojo es el mejor color. Number two, my little brother knows how to drive. Mi hermanito sabe conducir. Mi hermanito sabe conducir. <clears throat> Number three, I know Shaggy and Daphne. Yo conozco a Shaggy y a Daphne. Yo conozco a Shaggy y a Daphne. And number four, we know or we are familiar with Coolsville. Nosotros conocemos Coolsville. Nosotros conocemos Coolsville. All right. Here's a chant that's real important, real useful. For a fact or how to, you have to use saber. For knowing people or places, you must use conocer. <clears throat> for a fact or how to, you have to use saber. For knowing people or places, you must use conocer. So let's look at number one. We know that red is the best color. Now, can you say we know for a fact that red is the best color? Yes. Anytime you can say for a fact or how to, you have to use saber. So it's nosotros sabemos que rojo es el mejor color. All right. Number two, my little brother knows how to drive. Mi hermanito sabe conducir. Can I say my little brother knows for a fact to drive? Nope. Doesn't make any sense. But can I say my little brother knows how to drive. Yes. Anytime you can logically insert the phrase for a fact or how to, you have to use saber. Now, let's look at number three. <clears throat> I know Shaggy and Daphne. Now, can you say I know for a fact Shaggy and Daphne? No. Can you say I know how to Shaggy and Daphne? No. So you can't use saber. You have to use conocer because remember the chant. For a fact or how to, you have to use saber. For knowing people or places, you must use conocer. Shaggy and Daphne are both people. I hope you've seen the cartoon uh, Scooby-Doo. Uh, they're, they're the Shaggy, Daphne, Velma, uh, Fred. They go around um, and solve mysteries, and their home base is in a city called Coolsville. Notice, I know personally Shaggy and personally Daphne. Frequently, the verb conocer is followed by a personally because you're knowing people. And number four, we are familiar with Coolsville. Now, can you say we know for a fact Coolsville? That doesn't, no, that doesn't make any sense. Can you say we know how to Coolsville? No. Can you say we are familiar with a place called Coolsville? Yes. Anytime you're knowing people or places, you must use conocer. So again, the magic chant for saber and conocer. Here we go. <clears throat> I'll say it, we'll say it together. For a fact or how to, you have to use saber. For knowing people or places, you must use conocer. And if you want more information, I've got a clip on saber and conocer in overview. And you might also want to check out the grammar clip on personal aid.